Welcome back, folks. We're doing okay. We have 20 Mark 1s in storage. Hopefully, they will request more of them. That's the idea, anyway, why we built them. And we have four of the Mark 5s in storage, but I don't think I'm going to build anymore because I want to try and sell them the other ones. Uh, the, the new one, the Mark 5 V2. Let's do this. Six days go. I want to get over here and see what this Mark 7 is. And spherical mount. There's some interesting things here. Okay. New design. Looks heavy. And doom. Rolled homogeneous steel. And let's try this. Eight days. That's fine. That is fine. Uh, let's take a look out here. Are there any contracts? I don't think there are. No. But we do have our Centipede Mark 1 out on the battlefield. Well, on the Western Front. Uh, not in combat yet, but things are moving. Ooh, we might see combat soon. With the Storm Panzer 1s. That would be interesting. That would be very interesting. Okay, labor unions. Agreement with labor union sign. Workers efficiency plus 15%. Not bad. Let's see, can we hire some more workers? We can. We can only hire 10. But we're going to do it. So we have 120. And I'm just waiting for that design to be done. Which it is. So we'll send that out on trials. Four days. And we'll see how that does. It's quite a bit heavier, but... Middle East Front, okay? The German Ottoman military alliance was ratified. It provided Germany with safe passage into the neighboring British colonies. It was only a question of time until a new front in this global conflict was to emerge. With a high probability, some of our tanks will be redeployed to this new front, face new enemies, and be battle tested in a completely new environment. It is most worth to. It is worth to closely follow the reports from the upcoming battles in order to quickly identify weak spots of the design and come up with the upgraded solution before our competitors do. I agree. All right. Battle of Le Cateau. Le Cateau? Le Chateau? No, it has to be Cateau. That would have, need to be an H to be Chateau. So Le Cateau concluded. Okay. Mm -hmm. With the field artillery units located so close to the front line, the British had un unintentionally increased the effectiveness of the German artillery. To make matters worse, and because of the uneven terrain, the German units were able to close in on the British positions unobserved. By noon, British flanks began to collapse, and only due to the arrival of the French cavalry were the BEF, uh, British Expeditionary Force units, able to organize a retreat. The German advance continued. All right, let's have a look at this. So they're retreating. Oh, Company B has been deployed. All right, Company B. Ooh, we're regulars now. They're rookies. All right. So, following the retreat after the battles of the frontier, the High Command has managed to rally its forces together with units on the, you know, of the pri blah, of the French army. Thanks to innovative air reconnaissance and radio intercepts, the Allies have identified a unique opportunity for Anglo-French forces to reverse the hitherto victorious German advance through France and Belgium territory, and are fully prepared to exploit this tank engagement. Out. The landscape mixed. Infrastructure developed, urbanization very low, battle intensity medium. Let's see the outcome. Ooh, this is exciting. This is very exciting. 
Can't wait to see what this is all about. Show us, show us, show us. Stop loading. Thank you. Alright. It's Company B against Storm Panzer 1s. Company B is our better tank. So hopefully it does really well against these Storm Panzers. Alright, we're rolling up. Uh, this is the deployment phase, it looks like. At least one tank didn't really make it to the battle. But others did. Ooh, there are the German tanks. And there are our tanks. Cool. Reconnaissance phase. Alright, we see him. We see him. That looked like the Whippet, didn't it? Alright. We're, 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 we're aiming, we're aiming. Boom! And... Ooh! That tank is out of action. Noise. And this is cool. <laughs> I'm loving this. This is really cool. Alright, we're rolling right past that tank that we knocked out. Are we going to take a shot at another one? No. Okay. Round summary. One broken. Some tanks didn't even reach the battlefield, so we lost one from before it even got to battle. So deployment. The unit has failed to successfully deploy to a new position and suffered losses due to mechanical failures along the way. Field report. Tank proves report what attributes played their role for this phase and their relevance for the given battle conditions. Road transportability was completely disastrous. The road speed was somewhat problematic. The cross-country speed was pretty good. The range was satisfying. Satisfiable? Uh, probably satisfying. And the crew comfort was satisfying. Okay, reconnaissance. The unit has several de detected the enemy and is ready to exploit this advantage. So first shots gained. Okay, so we got gained a first shot. Uh, stealth was okay. Crew awareness was not quite there. Same with about with agility. Obstacle slope angle was fine. Height was not quite there. Trench width was fine. Road speed wasn't quite there, and cross country speed was fine. Okay, run, round one, attacker, centipede, mark five. So, hull hit. Most tank shots hit tank hull. No ricochets. We penetrated the armor. We destroyed five tanks, nice. Uh, we do lack ammo. Okay. Uh, shooting. Okay, so. Hard accuracy was not great. Range was great. Well, good. Uh, rate of fire wasn't great. And crew aiming wasn't great. The armor penetration was fine, but the aiming wasn't fine. And again... The damage... So if it collateral damage, it had free from the battlefield. Hard damage was okay. Crew aiming wasn't great. The hard accuracy wasn't great. Hard rounds wasn't great. Um, overall result, that's what's interesting, isn't it? But we lost one tank, we didn't repair any, and that tank was lost due to the deployment. So we have 15 tanks left, they lost 5 tanks, and have 4 tanks left. That's a pretty good result, and we get uh, quite a nice uh, reputation boost. Nice! That is pretty cool. So we have 15 and 15. All right, our first battle, guys. That is awesome. Okay. All engine compartment done. So we've researched everything here. We are nowhere near researching everything for the turrets. So let's start in on those a bit. Um, let's take a look at the Mark 8. Wow, that's a heavy haul. Really heavy haul. Okay. 
plus six range, plus two transportability. Yeah. It's heavy, though. Really heavy. Nah. And we'll definitely get that. Eight days. Let's do it. All right. So, oh, we uh, we need to check our new Mark Five tank here. So, fifty-nine power firepower hard. It's better. Better crew performance. A little bit worse firepower soft. Better reliability. A little bit better protection. Not much. Uh, mobility is quite a lot better, and repairability is about the same. It's quite a lot more ex expensive. I don't think this is a better tank. Not really. So I think we'll just make the, the other ones. Uh, the Mark Fives. That's a good reputation. Let's make six of those. Uh, we are short on medium carbon steel. So let's order a bunch of that. Uh, all right. A tempered steel plates is research. Uh, let's do this. Seven days, that's fine. Materials delivered. All right. A new design announced by Daimler Motors. That's German. Okay. Okay. Hmm. No contracts at this time, I guess. No. No contracts. Alright. We're in September. All right, reputation plus 10, nice. We're at 55 and a half reputation in Great Britain. That is not bad. All right, we got some medium carbon steel. We completed our production uh, and our engineering. Um, I kind of think I want to Enhanced telescopic sight. I like that. Uh, don't really care about the rate of fire, to be honest. Uh, high rate of fire, reliability, aiming. I think we'll go with this. Take two days. Yes. Start. Okay. All right. Let's get out of here. And we can produce some more tanks, can't we? Mark five, we can produce six more. Let's do it. We're low on rubber and iron. So let's order some rubber and iron. Uh, rubber. Wow, 960? That is expensive. Uh, we only get half of this. So let's get 10,000. Iron. Uh, 
at 10,000. Uh, medium carbon steel. Let's get everything you got. High carbon steel. Get this and okay. go. All right, six pounder gun is done. Um, I don't. We, we don't have anything new for the secondary weapons, which is maybe something that we want to start researching as well. Gun crews we have. Uh, search this. Let's see. Let's try designing a new tank with the new Mach 5 or Mach 8. Sorry. Uh, running gear. I want the pad pole. Our unit is the Ricardo. The turret is that. The turret is that. Primary weapon is our new quarter pounder. Wow, we are way overweight. Way overweight. Okay. So, how about we use that instead with the tadpole running gear, the Ricardo, the Lewis, the turret, the Lewis, the turret, the primary weapon, the crew, the uh, commander. Driver, gunner, 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 um, loader, commander. Uh, actually, this loader could be a loader mechanic. And then we can just get a mechanic there, and then we're done. We don't need to put another crewman in there. The plus three awareness is pretty sweet. Um, the aiming is pretty sweet. And then... Let's put some carbines in there as well. We'll of course go with the high explosive shells, the these shells, and we'll call this uh, C Mark Five B Three. Mark, yes. I think we're improving on our tank. Company D is under formation. Okay, but that's the cavalry tank that we can't deliver anything to, isn't it? Uh, no, it's not. I think that's the cavalry tanks. All right, so we, there are no contracts right now, so we'll just wait and see. Materials delivered. A new design by them with the tank that cannot be crewed sufficiently. Uh, okay. Battle of Marne completed. That's the centimeter mark ones. All right, let's take a look at that. Hey, okay. who are they fighting? 
Ooh, the Mach 1s against the Storm Panzers. They have more tanks. We're trainees. They're rookies. Oof. That doesn't sound good, does it? That doesn't sound good at all. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how we do. The battlefield. Again, one didn't make it onto the field. These have those uh, wheels on the back, which is pretty funny. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Reconnaissance. Oh, we see them first, I guess. We see you. Alright. Lifting forward. Boom! Ooh. Was that out of action? No. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, round one. Okay, we're firing again. Boom. Oh, we hit them again. But we didn't knock them out. Okay, so we've hit them twice. They haven't fired yet. They're gonna fire. They're gonna fire. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Oof. Survive it. Did you survive it? No, you didn't survive it. Crap. I don't think we did so good in this battle. It's unfair, too, that they put their good tanks against our weak tanks. Not fair. Germans don't play by the rules. Alright. We lost two tanks that didn't even make it there. Uh, reconnaissance, we got two shots off first, but... Uh, we destroyed a tank. All of this was fine. It's actually all acceptable. Look at that. Road speed wasn't good, but... Everything else looked like it was pretty good. The front angle... And width. Not good. Alright. Wow, we lost 10 tanks? Ouch! And they lost one. Repaired seven. Ow! That's not good. That's not good at all. That is not good at all. Dang. Hmm. Let's just do this. So maybe we should try and angle and make it a sign where we angle the tanks a little bit more. All right, we've got some materials. We've got some materials. We completed making the Mark Fives. Do we want to make some more Mark Ones? No, we have 20 of them in storage, right? Yeah, we have 16 Mark Fives in storage. I don't think we need to produce new tank right now. Okay, Battle of the Ain concluded. 16 Centipede Mark Fives. Okay. Let's see. I guess we're fighting the Storm Panzer twos. Yeah. All right. We have 15, they have 19. We're regulars though, and they're rookies. Well, let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. Oh, like that. Well, or dawn battle, or dawn or dusk battle, I guess. Maybe. All right. Again, something broke down. But this is a much better tank than the other one that we deployed. Let's 
so let's see. All right, we see them first again. I guess that means that. All right. Boom. Uh, nice. We took that out. That was a kill. Wonderful. Man, our Mach 5 tanks are really good. Our Mach 5 tanks are really, really good. Alright, we lost two before the battle started. Uh, stealth was good. Road speed sucked. Uh, touch width wasn't great. Wow. Seven tanks were destroyed. Nice! Lacking in ammo. Good on the accuracy. Good on... or acceptable on everything. But we lost seven tanks. Or we lost two tanks. We didn't repair any. We're down to 13. They lost seven and they repaired seven, but they have 12 left. All right. All right, so we actually... Hit or damaged 14 tanks. They repaired 17 of them. But our regiment is now the bigger one because we are, just have a better tank. And we get good reputation. Fantastic. <laughs> Any new contracts? No. All right, we have Company E forming. Okay. Materials delivered. everything I think I don't really want to build anything right now all right reinforced feed system expanded feed or do that and keep going hopefully we get some new contracts soon new company C supply contract is available all right let's see what do they want for on can you see uh, ah, so it's the light one well I suppose we could try and offer some of these uh, let's do 18 at 15,000 thereabouts and immediately that gives us an 85 rate all right let's see if they accept it my guess is no because it's too heavy all right expanded feed uh, do some of the primary stuff Okay. Accepted. 18 centipede mark ones. Nice. Okay. So logistics. We have 20 in storage. Boom. Deliver that. Yep. Yes. Nice. That'll be a nice chunk of change. All right, we completed that design project, so we need to send it through trials. And it should be a better tank. It really should. All right. So that is done. Let's do that. Noise, noise. Do we want to make more ones now? Okay, breakthrough. Okay. New company D supply contract is available. What do they want? Uh, company D.
So this is actually a worse tank. Uh, so total mass eighteen thousand. I guess we'll try with the uh, with this and offer them. How many do we have in storage? Uh, we have... 16 in storage. Okay. So we'll offer them 16 of them. 16. Immediately. Actually, we will offer them... We'll offer them 19. And we do it at twenty thousand. Cost eleven thousand. So it's decent profit. Very high rating. Let's offer that, and we'll immediately make three more of the centipede Mark fives. One, two, three. Max four days. Yes, go. Okay, anti-personnel munitions, specialized munitions. So that combines both armor piercing and high explosive properties. We'll penetrate the target before exploding. Sounds pretty cool. Um, let's do the barrel improvements. And we do need to start engineering some stuff. You know what, let's hire some more engineers. Let's hire 25. We can afford it. And... Let's see, the medium Hornet is kind of a medium heavy tank. I'm going to go with the Mark V. I think I like the ditching beam. I definitely like that. Don't like that. I definitely like that. Those. Oh, wait. Uh, so you can only have that, but the rear can have this. Plus two. Awareness plus three aiming. It's way heavier. I think I, I still like that one. Uh, don't want any of those. Plus three awareness plus one aiming. Yes, please. Uh, tech. All right, well, so we'll do some angle on the front sides. And uh, let's take this to eight, take that to three. And we can, let's call it mark uh, five. Lope. Start. Yes. Okay, so that'll take four days. Completed. The company seat contract is completed. That gives us 270 grand. We've delivered our tanks and we are afloat again. Uh, let's order some high carbon steel. Uh, and like that let's order some medium carbon steel as well uh, safety wow and I guess we'll get some of this as well 
and some iron. Okay. Go. Accepted. 19 centipede mark fives. Fantastic. And we need to deliver on the 14th of October. There we go. They are ready. Centipede Mark Fives, Logistics, 19 of them. Perfect. Yep. Yes. And they will be there on time. Engineering Project Mark Five Slope. Okay. So. The Mark Five Slope with the tadpole running gear, the Ricardo, these, that, 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 that actually takes us overweight. Okay. Takes us overweight. Only a little bit though, but now we're way overweight. Way overweight. Okay. So. We're not overweight for what the tank can handle. We're way heavier than anything they want, though, but... It's probably fine, right? A little gunner... Uh, commander... A loader mechanic... And a mechanic. That actually gives us what we need. Goggles and the ammunition will go with TNT and our star shell. Go plus nine soft damage, plus nine hard damage. Not that great range though, but we'll try this. And we'll call this uh, C MK5B4 slope. Start. Yes. Go. Uh, what do we have in storage right now? We have two Mark 1s and nothing else. Okay, so I think I want to make some more Mark 1s. Uh, make 8. What are we low on? High carbon steel. We have orders incoming. Right, there's some more. Barrel life improvement. A rapid fire. Absolutely. Materials. Company A Redmond Regiment is being deployed. Okay. But it is already deployed. Don't have a contract to deliver anything for it now. Fortunately, not. Right, materials. Materials, materials, new company E supply contract available. Let's take a look at that. What do they want? 
Okay. So. Here. We could, in fact. Just this one. Uh, when is the deadline? 28 days. Okay. Uh, this is done in four. Okay. Company deed contract completed. Thanks, delivered. Fantastic. We have tons and tons of money. More materials. We researched rapid fire. Um... All is done. The turret is basically done. Let's do that. Uh, two days. Uh, you know what? We need to order some stuff. We need to order some rubber. Uh, you know what? Let's order the 15,000 rubber. Uh, we need to order some high carbon steel. that we need to order some medium carbon steel let's order all of that we need to order some iron I'll take the expensive one for the fast delivery time hey All right, so eight centipede mark ones are done. We want to produce. These ones. 14 days. Okay. Let's do it. Lights. Uh, mobility is the V-shaped engine. Get that done. We're on the 18th of October. Wow, we have been playing for a long time. Um, I think we'll go on for a little bit longer. Yeah, delivered. Delivered. Uh, company C is being deployed with Centipede Mark 1s. Good, good. Uh, the contracts. Uh, 18 days we have until... So we have three... Companies on the battlefield. This one is by far the most successful, the Mark 5. The Mark 1s really didn't do very well. Not sure why they bought more of them. Um, okay, V shaped engine. Where attack design has not yet been tested. Okay, let's test it. Forest induction, short. Let's test this design. File start. So the soft fire firepower on this is worse. Crew <laughs> performance is a little bit better. The soft fire firepower is worse. The hard firepower is worse. Liability is a little bit better. Protection is the same. Mobility is the same, and repairability is about the same. So the Mark II or the version two is actually just better, and that's not the one that we're producing. That's great. Reproducing the Mark 3s. Uh, which we will continue doing. Days. Where's our medium carbon steel? Didn't we order that? Guess not. Bit like 10,000. 
And let's get some high carbon steel as well. Iron. Okay. Okay. Oh! Okay. You've reached the end of this short demo. If you had a good time with this demo and you want to contribute to making a full uh, making a full game, make sure to visit our Kickstarter page and support us. Yeah. Kickstarter is over when this video was going up, uh, but I did support them on Kickstarter. But very cool demo. I really like the game. Uh, there's still a lot to do, of course. It's just a demo, but the premise of the game, the the concept of the game, I really like. And yeah, I, I'm looking forward to see to seeing what this brings in the future. So uh, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed it as well. Let me know in the comments if you thought that Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks is something for you. So, uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.